Today I want to show you the basic slap technique. I thought you may have some time to learn or improve your slap and pop technique. There are a lot of different players and therefore a lot of different techniques. I just want to show you what works best for me. So let's get started with the right hand position. For the slap sound you have to use your thumb. You may notice that your thumb, unlike your other fingers, just has one digit in its middle. Using that part of the thumb is the key to a proper slap sound. So I'm hitting the string at the edge of the fingerboard with the side of my thumb. That movement should be a rotation of your arm. It's not like that. It should be a rotation and my upper arm is not moving at all. You can easily practice that wherever you are. Your right hand should look like that. So I'm closing my fingers a little bit, but without pressure. It is very important to practice your thumb technique in that position because afterwards it will be much easier to learn the pop because your index finger is already in the right spot for plugging or popping. Imagine your thumb is a rubber ball and coming back really quick. It's important that you don't rest on the string because otherwise you are going to mute it so there will be no sound like it's not working so be sure to be like a rubber ball and come back very quick try this on an open E string and repeat it until you get a proper slap sound and don't be frustrated um, if the sound isn't that good at the beginning that really takes time. You can also mute your upper strings so they're not ringing because when you're not muting your strings with the left hand it will sound like that. And that may disturb you so I'm also muting the strings with my left hand while playing. Try to slap the open strings for a few minutes and allow yourself to become familiar with it. Take care that your movement is not too big, otherwise it will be very difficult to play fast slap licks. And you all want to play fast slap licks. So this is an exercise to practice your thumb technique. Set your metronome to a really slow tempo, like 70 for example and play open strings. Once you become familiar with the slap, it's time for the pop. Put your right index finger under the string and pull the string away so it could snap back. So it's just this part of my finger plugging the string. You can also experiment with it until you find the sound you like. Maybe you will hit the string too hard like or too weak so just experiment a little bit with it so here's an exercise for your pop technique also with a metronome set it to a low tempo i also choose 70. When I'm playing this exercise, and that's just the way I do it, um, my pinky and my index fingers are right there. To I don't know, I just need 
like a fixed point. Like when I'm playing with the pig, my fixed point is the bridge over here. And when I'm just pubbing, um, I feel so much more comfortable to lay my pinky and index finger over there. And these two are my fixed point. Now, where we practice both of these movements, let's put them together. The two techniques should be one fluent motion. That means when you come up with your thump, you also can play a plug or pop afterwards without any additional energy. Because of the rotation and your right hand position, the plug or the pop will happen automatically when you come up with your thump. The next exercise is one to put the two techniques together. So I'm just playing octave disco lines. I'm also setting a metronome to a really slow tempo. And really have a look at your right hand. Pay attention to the movement that you get out a slap and a pop or plaque out of one motion. Now we come to the part where you have to figure out what's best for you. Marcus Miller, for example, really plays with a more thumb up technique. Um, I like to have my thumb really parallel to the string. Or Flea, for example, he plays with the thumb down. His hand is really relaxed, but you have to figure out what's best for you. It is important to listen to the masters at the very beginning. So you get a good idea what you should be aiming for. So have a listen to Larry Graham, Marcus Miller, Ida Nielsen, Flea, Mark King, Victor Wooten, just to name a few. If you want to have a good slap sound, there are a few things you have to pay attention to. For example, you may have a too high action. When the action is low, it's much easier to get a good slap sound. You also may have really old strings, so there are no overtones anymore, which makes it very difficult to get a good slap sound. Or your setting on your bass or your amp isn't right, so be sure to check that. In general, you could say that you have to boost the bass and the treble a little bit and cut the mids, but I think that's a matter of taste, because a lot of other players do it the other way around. So just check what's your style and what you like. And the last thing is that you may have to practice a little bit more. But don't give up, I can tell you, you will get there. So let me know about your progress and also if you have got problems or questions, I would be very happy if you leave a comment down below. I would be very happy to answer them. If you want to see more videos like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye. Wow, this klingt so geil mit neuen Seiten. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha